Trust me, I've called a few people a donut in my time. But if you're looking to turn up the heat on a delicious donut recipe in 10 minutes, then you better watch closely because I'm about to show you how to make the most extraordinary donuts with a beautiful, fragrant chili dipping sauce. Right, Oscar, Pandama man. Uh, ricotta. So it's a recipe with no yeast, super fast, delicious. Uh, plain flour, eggs, vanilla extract, sugar. And then for the sauce, we've got this amazing, beautiful dark chocolate. Beautiful smoked chipotle paste. And that gives it that little bit of sort of intrigueness across the donut. Smoked molten salt and finish with a little bit of honey. Zest of orange over the donuts. Right, let's have 10 minutes on the clock. First up, get your oil on, okay? Now, I'm using a peanut oil, okay? And just bring it up to temperature. Don't go too crazy. And literally, two inches on the bottom. Not half full, not two thirds full. And then on standby, I've always got some cold oil. Because if it is getting too hot, move it off carefully and just add a touch of cold oil and that'll bring the temperature down immediately. Never start off with the gas up full, nice and low. Bring that up to temp and take your time with that, okay? Now for the mixture. Ricotta in. This is an exciting recipe because there's no yeast. And it's almost like a sort of um, spicy, delicious, rich chocolate donut. Mix in that ricotta, okay, lightly. Beat it, okay? From there, get your eggs. Always crack them on a flat surface. That way you get no shell in there whatsoever. And we're gonna lightly whisk that, okay? I'm gonna put that in the bowl. Whisk with a fork. Now, first off, because the ricotta's wet and the eggs are wet, don't add them together, okay? Flour in first, okay? That will turn the ricotta really nice and dry. Now, mix that up. Okay, lightly bring it together. Bicarb soda in. That bicarb gives it the sort of aeration. Okay, and then a nice pinch of cinnamon. Okay, I quite like the flavour of cinnamon in there. Sugar goes in, sprinkle that in there, and then your vanilla extract. You can use a vanilla bean, but just literally one little cup in there. Now, mix that in, create a little well in the middle and then start adding your egg. Don't throw all your egg in, two thirds in, and fold that in. And you'll see this come together almost like a really nice dough, okay? And now, if we over mix it, it makes the dough too tight, okay? So, you can see, I'm not going crazy whisking, just nice and gently lift that in. Oil's getting nice and warm, I'm gonna slide that to the side. And then, look, I'm just gonna mix that up. And then from there, because this is a quick recipe, okay, you don't need to leave this to rest. Now, bring this together nice and carefully. Don't over mix it, okay? It sort of should almost look like a, a nice pliable dough, almost like you're making beautiful bread. Now, just let it sit there, okay, for two minutes. Get your pan for the dipping sauce. Gas on, very low, okay? Start off with, get your cream in. And this is a really nice, uh, delicious sauce because it's a really nice way of either coating or glazing your donuts. Nice tablespoon of honey in, okay? And then this magic here, it's a chipotle smoked paste. A teaspoon of that in only, okay? A little touch of salt. Mix that in. Don't bring it to the boil, but just mix it in a way that it actually just comes together and melts, that's all, okay? Once it starts to melt, get your chocolate, okay, and just break that up. Now, the secret here is not to boil it, okay? If you boil it, you're gonna turn the sauce into sort of a granular mess. Let it melt and just sort of come on and off the heat. Once the cream starts to melt, it helps melt the chocolate. But don't bring the temperature up too much, okay? Otherwise, will absolutely destroy that chocolate. That smokiness is in there, and it's so beautiful. And look, it's just starting to melt. Come down, please, Oscar. It's a bit of heat in the pan, and you see that chocolate melting. And don't boil it. And look, you've got this beautiful, nice, smooth, rich, incredible dipping sauce. So beautiful. And that smokiness adds that nice little bit of excitement to those donuts. Right, donuts. Take a little spoon 
and just, we sort of, we say cornell, but just drop that in, okay, for the oil up to temp, and literally into the fryer. The nice thing about these donuts, they do not need to be perfectly shaped. I like, literally, heating my spoon in the oil, and that way you get to sort of cut into the shape of that donut. Gas up now, because the temperature's coming down. Heat the spoon again, in. And look, you just come up the side of the bowl and you sort of almost twirl your spoon, get that nice spoonful in. In again, and it comes off the spoon. It's almost like the old-fashioned quenelle. Hot spoon, in, and turn. Now, you can make this dough up the day before and it relaxes beautifully. They'll puff up a little bit, in, and back off. Be careful, it's hot oil, so just be very, very careful. Off with the spoon, in, and there you go. You can see these things puffing up now. I've got room for one more. Don't overfill that. In. And look, the dough comes off on that beautiful hot spoon. Now we're rocking. Time, please. Four minutes. Four minutes. Amazing. Who would have thought we could make a donut, literally, in 10 minutes? Now, gently roll that around. And all we're doing now is coating those beautiful donuts. They take about two, two and a half minutes. As they start to rise, Whenever you're frying anything, the minute it starts to rise, it's cooked. But I want to get it nice and sort of light, OK? They come out onto a paper, and we're going to literally just turn those over. Look. I want the colour on there. Really important. I've got enough heat in the oil now, so I'm going to turn that gas off. There's enough residual heat in there from the keep frying. But look at them. So beautiful. And it's such a good pick-me-up, especially for a sort of, you know, party, kids' party, or even a little treat for a dessert after a wonderful dinner. Beautiful. Time, please. Gas back on to give that last sort of 60 seconds blast. I'm using the spoon and I'm turning these over. You can just see a beautiful colour on there. That dipping sauce smells incredible. Now, very carefully, Take them out and look, that's beautiful. Just check that's lovely, nicely cooked it is. Out. Once they're hot, okay, you need to sprinkle the sugar on them quickly. That way they'll absolutely stick. So sugar on, around, and then with your orange zest, literally on top. And then, just let that sit there. But that is a beautiful, delicious, fresh ricotta donut. That is done with ease, and more importantly, finesse. Now, finish that finely with some orange zest. And look, you did not think this was possible, but there we have the most amazing ricotta donuts with an amazing, deliciously spicy chipotle chocolate dipping sauce. Your donut. Excellent. To all of you, thank you for watching Ramsey in 10. If I went too quick, I apologise, but slow it down. Now, don't forget to pick up Ramsey in 10 cookbook inspired by this series. And trust me, you're going to come out a much better chef. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my amazing YouTube channel for more. Good luck.